I'm trying to catch my breath because I just brought all of my unread books downstairs from my reading room upstairs. Basically, it's Christmas Eve. I've been wrapping gifts up in that room and it's a complete disaster. I'm also just like in my pajamas today looking kind of sloppy. Uh, but I've been toying with doing this video whether I wanted to or not basically because it's something I would really like to look back on but I probably wouldn't watch this type of video from very many people so if this isn't something you're interested in uh, I completely understand go ahead and skip this one but if you do want to know what I currently own that I haven't read yet uh, keep watching this and I would love if you would comment down below which books you think I should prioritize I am trying to get my TBR down to 10 books in 2021 and my hope with that would be that it would be 10 books that I have bought prior to this so realistically I would like to read every single one of these in 2021. Also uh, Mayday Parade, my sweatshirt I'm wearing, was like my favorite band in high school and not many of you know this if you don't look through my descriptions but in every single one of my videos I link a song I've been listening to recently and then I also link a playlist of all the songs I've listened to or all the songs I've linked in the past uh, so I will link that down below I think you should check it out if you want to know like kind of what kind of music I listen to uh, I do listen to country music the whole playlist is in country music but if you're not a fan of country maybe check it out anyway and see what I think is good uh, but I think I want to count how many books are here and then I'll start showing you them Okay, I think there's 44 books, so it's a little more than I thought. I have like received all of my Christmas gifts, so I did just receive some gifts. So some of these are brand new. I've decided not to really do hauls uh, on my channel. I just don't think it's necessary and again, something I don't watch from most people. So I'm not going to be explaining what these books are about. I'm just going to show you what they are and what I'm sitting on right now. Uh, these are in alphabetical order by author last name just because that's how... I organize my shelves. So I have Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. I have Love Her or Lose Her by Tessa Bailey. Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Uh, Through the Dark by Alexandra Bracken. Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. The Dream Daughter by Diane Chamberlain, as well as Big Lies in a Small Town by Diane Chamberlain. I have When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. The Duchess Deal by Tessa Dare. Playing Nice by J.P. Delaney. Untamed by Glen Glennon Doyle. And this was actually a Christmas gift from my sister. It is not something that was on my TBR, but I think it's cute. She went into a Barnes and Noble and was just like, what book should I buy? Like my sister reads a lot of books. What do you recommend? And this is what the bookseller recommended. So I have In the Woods by Tana French, Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna, The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang, from Alaska with Love by Allie James. Big truck drives by. The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Kloon. The Other Misses by Mary Kubica. Someone We Know by Sherry Lapina. The End of Her by Sherry Lapina. Autobiography by Christina Lauren. We've made it through two out of four stacks. The Liar's Room by Simon Lelick. Lone Survivor by Marcus Luttrell. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. 
The Holdout by Graham Moore. Uh, the Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. Heartstopper Volume 2 by Alice Oseman. The New Husband by DJ Palmer. These are kind of embarrassing that I haven't read any of these yet. And this first one I was supposed to read to Buddy Read with Stasia this month. And I let that slip. So I have The Wife Between Us. An Anonymous Girl. And You Are Not Alone by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. I have Brighter Than the Sun and When He Was Wicked by Julia Quinn. Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. Whoops. My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. Criminal by Karen Slaughter. Two by Two by Nicholas Sparks. Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. Saga Volume 5 by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. That's upside down. <laughs> the Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. Winter Counts by David Heska Wombly Whedon. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I should have looked that up ahead of time. Valentine by Elizabeth Wetmore. And the last thing I have, Martine, you should probably leave if you don't want to see what I'm reading for our challenge in January. But I have um, Lazarus by Marianne Malone Woods. So that is every single book that I am bringing into 2021 on my own shelf. I do have other things on my to be read shelf. I, if there's something I want to reread like very soon, I actually move it to my TBR shelf rather than my red shelf. But yeah, this is a lot of things. Again, let me know what you think I should prioritize. A lot of these I am still very excited for and some of them I've lost a little bit of interest for. So maybe you can spark my interest again. But yeah, this is a simple, easy, quick uh, Christmas upload. So I hope you're having a good Christmas day. If you celebrate the holiday, Merry Christmas. If you don't, I hope you're having a great weekend and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.